start the vlog. Go. Hi, Gina. Napa ba musafiri? Ito kharab kardi. Go again. Musafiri ni mukarame thar pasi shumari. Unsado shasi chaha. Unsa maroy khuruti. The khuruti shumari davosta murajhe pani. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to exactly. Mama Khomeini Airport. <laughs> Welcome to the Bangkok vlog guys. We are currently in Tehran, Imam Khomeini airport and the crew is hangry so they're going to get food. But off to Bangkok, so say hi to the vlog mum. Hi everybody. Where are we going? We're going to Martin. Thailand. <laughs> yeah, we're starting off in Bangkok, so. Us is like Iranian soup. soup. Like Iranian soup well, but it is Iranian soup. It seems like it's like a barley. What is barley? No, barley soup. Um, my battery is dying, so we'll catch up with you once I've charged it a bit. And my charger is in my suitcase, so fingers crossed I'll find it. <laughs> They're completely like KO. <laughs> She's snoring. <laughs> but we can't sleep. Roy, Roy, you're gonna sleep, eh? We can't fall asleep. <laughs> well, I'm actually getting disturbed here. I'm getting in my bed. They're funny. I'm getting disturbed here. I was like sleeping in my bed. Yeah, right. No one can fall asleep. <laughs> All the parents are asleep. That's Sorgan and I's space, but we're taking over these old space. We've arrived. Where have we arrived? We are in Bangkok. In Thailand. We're in Bangkok, guys. How beautiful. Look at this. The cutest. It's a Thai massage place. So we're at the Emporium shopping mall in Bangkok and we're just getting food. I got a wonton um, ramen that everyone else is so dead. So my dad is like KO. <laughs> my mom is like enjoying her coconut till her food comes. KO. I uh, am. I'm on KO. The Roy Jones completely KO. I'm, and my camera battery is completely KO. <laughs> We're um, so tired, like yeah, But we were hungry because yeah. we had to eat first. So we're like gonna eat, go to sleep, and hopefully wake up. So we've had a nap, I've charged my camera, um, and we are like literally so late to go meet everyone else. And um, everyone else got ready like 40 minutes ago. Like when everyone else came downstairs, I got in the shower. We woke up. Yeah, the Star Hotel is the Sofitel in Bangkok. Yeah, it's a pretty hotel. Um, I'll show you our room after. Oh no, so we're just literally walking through like our hotels on like the main road. So we we're in a side street now. So there's markets on the side of the road.
we just got back to the hotel. I was just dropping something to my dad's, mum and dad's room. Um, oh shit, now I need to find my room. But we got to explore the city and it's really cool. It's somewhere that I've never been before, so obviously I was praying this was the right room. Um, yeah, it's really cool to explore the city. And I'm so sleepy. Let me show you the room. I'm literally gonna tour you from the bed. It's quite big. And the bathroom is really cool. Like basically there, like the blind thing opens and you can see um, into the bathroom. And then the view is like all the way up on the 26th floor. Wow. Up on the 26th floor, you can kind of see me. But it's so beautiful. But good night for now. And I hope you guys enjoyed Bangkok with me. And I will see you in the morning. It's 6am. We're all awake. We're all on route. We're going to... We're going to Koh Samui. And we are parting it up in the minivan. So I just thought I'd show you guys that it's really cool that in Thailand the lounges have Thai food um, cuz like in other countries that I've seen they just usually have like an international menu so liked it you guys I'm gonna show it to you it's exactly like ping pong I don't know if you've been to ping pong but the food is identical to ping pong in my opinion So this is the airport and that's, wait, this is the baggage claim, <laughs> literally. Royajun, how are you liking island life? That's amazing and very beautiful. You look so island. cute. We've been having a very nice time in this island. This is the baggage claim. It's probably the cutest baggage claim I've seen. Hi, Sophie. Hey. hey. We're currently living island life, guys. Have you said how you say thank you in Thai? I think it's Kun Kong. Chung Kong. Chung Kong. We're gonna learn and we're gonna teach you guys. Good morning. It is currently the next day and we are in Koh Samui. We are at the La Meridian Resort in Koh Samui. I don't know if I'll ever learn, but I always end up showing the results the next day when like our stuff is all over the place and the room looks like a mess. But I thought I'd show you guys just around mine, Sol and Sorgan's villa. And then if everyone else is around, then I'll like show you their villas. But we just had breakfast, so I don't think anyone will be in their room. Um, but we're in the plunge pool villa and it's really, really pretty. So when you first walk in, this is our room and it's like in this glass. And then here is the pool. Um, and then there's like a really picturesque bathtub here. We were just out here last night. And then you still have another view of the room. And this bathtub is super cute. Somewhere to chill here. And then we have the shower. There. Sinks. Me. And the bathroom. Um, it is such a beautiful room. I'm so jet lagged. I literally slept two hours and that's probably why I don't sound that energetic. I literally have read 200 pages of my book, The Girl on the Train, because I couldn't sleep. Um, so I'm hoping to sleep whilst I'm sunbathing and catch up on some of my sleep. <laughs> but yeah.
So we are just chilling by the ocean slash pool. Regan, Logan, Sina. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? No. Uh, my bikini is from Tazini's in London. I love the bikinis that I got from Portugal, so I just thought, why not go back and get something that I like? Um, and I just had a Thai massage. That is why I'm so relaxed and zoned out. And obviously with this view behind as well. Uh, I'm going to get one now. Oh, you're gonna go get it. It is yeah. so good. Sol's the only one who hasn't got it. My mum's gone to get my dad. My mum wanted us to go again for another hour because she loved it so much. I don't think we should go two days in a row. I don't think. Sol, <laughs> go like get it. Go get the massage and then come and judge if we should. Like, tomorrow it'll be fine. Go judge if you want it more than once or not. Once you've had it. Roy Adrian was like, I'm not having a massage. I'm okay. And then she. With <laughs> this <that> accent. <laughs> Uh, Thai massage. Yeah. Are you happy you did it? Yeah, you know, I'm happy. I'm very relaxed. Yeah. At first she didn't want to. Um, I think she thought the sheets were dirty, but the sheets were clean. Yeah. Your butt just flashed my vlog. Um, me? me? Yeah. In. Oh look, it's the trouble too, Sam. Mum, tell them what you just did. <laughs> she was in the bedroom, you know, when I was going to. I ended up. She's gonna take her husband now for a massage. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi to the vlog. Tell them what are you doing now? He wants to go for massage. Uh, just I wanna go to massage. Everything perfect. It's so good. Uh, it's so relaxing. Honestly, I feel like in London from now on, I'm only gonna get Thai massages. All the other massages I get in London are literally not firm enough, and this was just so to the point. So I loved it. Um, but yeah. Signs. Tub. Tell love vlog where we're going. Oh, you're so tanned. You look so beautiful. Where's your dress from? Yeah, where's your dress from? Uh, my dress is from Rare London, which have become bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> the flying globe. Um, my top I got from the Forever 21 sale for £8.50. Oh, wow. My shorts are Zara and my shoes are Zara. It's really dark, so you can't really see, but it is really pretty. Cool. Where's your face from? My face. My face is from my mama. We look so tan in this light. We probably Sunday today. Sina went back for a second time massage. <laughs> Did you actually go back for a second one? Yeah, I feel so good. I didn't sunbathe today much, you know? Yeah, Sol is so tan. Sol's major tan. I was too busy going good. for massages. And at eating one point, at that the woman, place. There's a really point, yummy place next to our hotel. At, woman, at one point, the woman was like standing on my back. There was one point that honestly, she was elbowing my coccyx. Oh yeah. That's a polite way of putting it. <laughs> bum bum. And then um, there was another point where I really think she thought my butt was jelly or something because she just wouldn't stop squeezing it. I'm pretty sure like Move in up an a bit hour I'm session, so in an hour session you're only meant to spend maybe two minutes on the arse. She was there like rubbing my bum for like I don't know, I think the whole time I was on my back, like 90% of the time she was rubbing my butt to a point where I feel like tonight when I go home I'm going to rub my butt to see what the fuss was about. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get some food. So we're sitting, for some reason there's like truck taxis, it's like vans, like you're sitting on the back of a van. It's like that film, um, that tsunami film where they were sitting, actually maybe it's better not to Good morning, it is the next day and we are at Nam Wang um, on the route to see there's two waterfalls, Nam Wang 1 and Nam Wang 2. 
And uh, number one has elephants in it, so we really want to see the elephants. And number two has a really beautiful waterfall, apparently. So we want to go see the waterfall, and they're like quite close to each other. Um, but how beautiful is this view? Wow. And my mum and dad stayed in the hotel just because they felt like just getting massages and lying by the pool. And the rest of us felt like doing touristy stuff today because tomorrow is our last day in Thailand before we go to Malaysia. So, yeah. The weather, by the way, I should probably just say this. Anyone thinking of coming to Thailand, I have two pieces of advice if you're coming to Koh Samui. Um, first piece of advice is the weather is absolutely beautiful and it's pretty much not humid at all. And um, the weather forecasts on the internet will always say it's cloudy because and raining, and every, raining day. every day, but that's not the case at all. Um, it hasn't rained at all since we've been here. Uh, I think it's just sometimes the satellites have trouble picking up the signals for the weather. And the second piece of advice I want to say for people coming to Koh Samui is if you saw the, uh, in the middle of the vlog when we arrived here that um, your resort where you stay is really, really important in terms of safety. If you can, try and stay in a hotel because um, they are kind of more legally obliged, especially if they're a chain, to uh, do a lot of more poisoning, like put more poison out and stuff to make sure that um, there's no um, snakes or geckos or anything around you because the truth is that we're not like if you're a tourist like us if you're tourists from western countries we don't really have snakes especially in England we don't really have snakes um, so we don't really know how to deal with them so it's not really safe um, for us to be in environments where we could be face to face with them and we could panic and not deal with them properly so I really recommend that you look into staying at hotels or resorts this is so cool We just left the elephant safari thing. Um, basically, we're really, really, yeah, we've left like literally at the like, middle of it. As soon as we found out what's going on. So I showed you the sign when I was going in, right? And it says feeding elephants. So we thought we were going into like the safari, like their habitat, and we were gonna be feeding them. And we go, and it's like a show of the elephants. I tried to record some clips of it so you guys can see. I don't know if they're gonna be of any good because they probably don't learn it, but literally, we all had like tears in our eyes because we felt so sad for the animals. Um, and the reason I'm vlogging it is because I want to tell you guys so that you guys, oh, yeah, so that you guys don't make our mistake and you don't go. Like we, because it's people like us that are responsible for this. The people that are here, they're not responsible. They need to make a living. They need to make a living. They need to eat. But us, we shouldn't attend. Like it was not really cool. The, the, they were like using like. There was, they were using like little knife things to try and get the animals to do tricks and we all just, we were just so upset, we lift, left. They were like pulling its ears. Yeah. We I don't know, I just felt so disgusted. Like, yeah. I really thought we were, because they advertised so just, it. Like, they advertised it as feeding oh, elephants like a safari. Like, in, like in, a na in nature somewhere and it's you almost like see elephants and then you can feed it's them. It's almost like we're going out of our comfort zone into their habitat is the way they they um, advertise it but it's actually the opposite way around we they are brought into our world with like chains around their necks and like knives used to make them to do tricks and it was just so so sad that like we were all basically like crying um, so if you come here don't go to the elephant show don't go to the monkey show it's go the same the thing we just got from uh, got back from Nuang waterfall um, and we've caught up with my mom and my dad and we're just about to eat there's a really nice restaurant right next to our hotel next to the meridian and um the food is just really nice um, so this is fish manang or panang i can't remember what it's panang. called panang. no this one's prawn panang <laughs> this is a panang panang <laughs> manang <laughs> And that's yellow, <laughs> yellow curry. 
<laughs> Would you like to try this? Look at my dad's fish. It looks so yum. Right, yeah, and I have him just here. Nice. He loves no, seafood. No, the food here is really good. We've been eating here like every single day because it's right next to the hotel. And it's like a family run restaurant. So it's a husband, a wife, and their kid who's like nine, which is really cute. Um, so I'd rather come here than eat in, in the hotel. <laughs> So our room is super messy, but we are ready to go out for tonight. Um, so again, come and show the vlog your outfit. So Sogan is wearing this really cute jumpsuit. Where is it from? It's her name. Ooh, and show your bag. It's from Zara. Very pretty. And then she's wearing like flip flops with it. This is from her name. I'm wearing a crop top from Zara, but it's like one shoulder. And this denim dungaree is from Topshop New Season. And I borrowed Sorgan's belt because the waist was a bit loose on me. Sorgan, where is your belt from? Um, not too sure. I have some from Diesel. You can get it from those places. And it's really cute black with like a metal detailing. I'm so hungry and I can't lie. Do you want, do you fancy Thai food? Oh, really? Yeah, I don't no, know if I'm I tired of it. Yeah, and in our breakfast buffet, hopefully I'll take my camera tomorrow so you guys can see, but there's Thai food in the breakfast buffet as well. And I just uh, can't deal with even more. I don't know. My battery's low, so I'll catch up with you when I'm in, with the crew. So we're at Chewing Beach and come for dinner at a restaurant that I don't know the name of. Um, but it's opposite a restaurant called Son Samui, if that helps. Um, as it, I really fancied a pizza or a pasta or basically just something different. But because it's our last night in Thailand, I was like, screw it, I'm gonna have a Thai green curry because I haven't had one since I've been here. I've had a Thai red curry, I've had pad thai, I've had other stuff that I haven't had a Thai green curry, so that's what I'm having. And Sorgan got pizza. Thai. The Thai food is really good. I would say it's really close to like the Saba standard that we have in London. And um, yeah, like the Saba isn't that commercial. If you think about when you compare the food here, it tastes really authentic. So we have arrived at the Koh Samui airport. It's actually very, very cute. We're at this Italian restaurant and the food is so good. How good was the food? So many. So good, you like it? I love it, I love it. I, love it. I really liked it. Oh my God, how sunburned is my nose. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, I just had to sneeze. Basically, we have come to the end of our Thailand trip. I want to show you this airport really quick because it's super cute. Hold on. So this is like the airport. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's really adorable. Like all of these are just little shops. And then like the departure gates are basically like open. I don't even know how it works. It's just really, really cute. Now time in Thailand has come to an end. We are off to Malaysia, which is the last um, trip I'll be taking um, with these lot this summer. Basically I've put so much oil in my hair because it's really damaged so I'm going to make sure put some olive oil in it and it's like dripping and it's like yeah she does what happens when you dye your hair too much <laughs> I've totally loved Thailand as in Koh Samui is so beautiful I would recommend for you to come and see it for yourself it's a beautiful island it's really really beautiful I love it good <laughs> very lovely and I recommend it to come. Everybody should come because the atmosphere is very nice. It's one of the beautiful islands in the world. Yeah, I agree. Thank you guys so much for watching this travel vlog. Make sure you subscribe so you can see Malaysia after this. Oh my god, my nose is just actually a joke at this point. Um, make sure you subscribe so you can see Malaysia after this. I don't just do travel vlogs or vlogs. I pretty much vlog, like record my whole life. So like I do gym. I do medical school and uni, which I'll be going back to next week. And I do fashion hauls, I do makeup. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. My socials will be linked down below, but my Instagram is Persian Bunny. My Twitter is The Persian Bunny, and my Snapchat is Sefi Samai. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.